I've been thinking about getting Mario Kart for the Switch, actually, and I, I kind of hate it. It's a whole thing. I'm, like, upset at Nintendo for not releasing a new Mario Kart game <laughs> for the past however long. And it's like, I played so much of um, Wii U Mario Kart 8, and I don't want to have to buy the new one because it's, like, nine years old. But at the same time, they have released a lot of new maps recently, and I do want to try them, so <laughs> I may end up doing that. Hanuk is an excuse to eat donuts. It's not donuts, but they're basically donuts without a hole. Oh, those are just like jam donuts then. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know much about Hanukkah though. Uh, I will not be taking magpie. We definitely just like buy this, but I think we stack these. Yeah, let's run it like this. That seems okay to me. Nintendo loves selling the same game twice. They really do when it comes to the Switch, because I think they considered the Wii U to be like a flop. So then they just kind of... That's sad. So they just, they just kind of like re-release all the same games and uh, have not made new ones. I mean, they made it out of like different new ones, but they didn't make new ones of the same games. Well, you know, from the same series. Because like, I would have loved some new like new Super Mario Bros. stuff like for the Switch. Mario Kart as well. There was a new Animal Crossing, but that's not like every console. Man, <laughs> Blue Note, hello. Merry Christmas, doubters. Oh, I'm hoping I get a good game to start. Anyway, what do we have here? Meerkats. I'd be much more happy to see that if we had a magpie, but we don't, and I... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be buy-selling just to try and make it work. I could buy it anyway, but it just doesn't feel right. Uh, I mean, I could... Yeah, hold on, we can maybe do this. Doorhead ant, sell chipmunk. I'm gonna have to, like, buy-sell a stoat. Oh no, I only need to sell it once, and then we like buy an egg, maybe. Maybe I buy the penguin first. I could buy, sell penguin, and end on stoat. I actually kind of prefer that. And you know what? That's not even a bad hit. Yeah, those are okay hits. All right. <laughs> uh, I hate this. I never use meerkats, and yeah, it's not good. Christmas. You're wrapping presents right now. I actually still need to wrap my presents. I have them like scattered around my room. It shouldn't take long, but I've been I've been putting it off. Wait, hold on. So people keep saying, "Look at the predictions." Oh God, it's it's ninety eight percent to two, like seventy k to one k. Damn, that's actually kind of a big bet too. All right, do I sell stoat or do we keep stoat? I kind of want to keep the door head ant, but it's not great when it's like this small. Maybe I pump this. Like buying apples for this is fine, unless we get the possum level up. I'm probably not leveling anything else. Yeah, I think I just, like, pump the cone snail while I'm here. And then I'm just gonna embrace that this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, we'll just, like, do this. Get, like, 2-2 two -two on that. You're not gonna do anything. I'm fine with that. And you're just gonna, like, jump further forward. It's all fine. You just missed a big prediction. You did, apparently. That's, like, huge for the first one. And, hey, we're crushing it. You're not doing Christmas till the 27th because your mom works. Aw. I know my... One of my sisters is going to be working Christmas Eve, I think. I don't I'm worried that I've got, like... Some stuff wrong. Like, the dates... Like, I think Friday is, like... The day before Christmas Eve. And then Sunday is Boxing Day. No, that's... There's no way that works. Wait. Okay, wait. I actually know what's happening. I need confirmation. And this Sunday is Christmas. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. Sunday is Christmas. Okay, yeah. So I will not be there on Sunday. Uh, I will definitely be buying this. I'm wondering whether I'd sell the stoat first, but... I think we start with that. Egyptian Vulture. It activates the faint ability behind it. We don't have any of those, but it's probably worth investing in more than a lot of the other things I'm seeing here. Enemy summon, deal two damage to it, and thing an enemy... Honestly, I think we just get rid of the meerkat. I don't think we can make this work consistently. We can buy avocados, then we get one trigger a turn, but like... I'd rather just get a baboon, and that'll like carry us. So yeah. Goodbye to Mr. Meerkat. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna roll, because I want to find some of those. Oh, meerkat. We'll be buffing a flycatcher. But it's at the cost of a doorhead ant. And it's already like default. Like 1-1. One, one. It's not even default stats. Hmm, I'm gonna roll it. I want level ups. Okay, cool. We have found one. 
So we still don't have any faint abilities, so like, it doesn't really matter where this thing is. So I'm gonna leave it as it is, I think. How old am I? I am 24, but I'm also very dumb and may have, like, misremembered. <laughs> what time is it where I am? We have a a time command, but it is, like, 6 p.m. It's dark. Hey, two of these. Uh, I definitely want to get the avocado, too. I love that we haven't lost any HP. Or we lost HP and then gained it back, so, you know. <laughs> as good as. Uh, maybe sell the flycatcher this turn for the Osprey? I kind of want to get the Baboon, because it'll be scaling the Egyptian Vulture, but we don't have a good reason to have it on the team at the moment. Maybe I just wait for both combinations. I don't really want these things. Let's just, like, sell this. There's no point. Alright, have that separate. Buy avocado. Roll twice. Hope for, like, another avocado. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, big. Next turn is going to be huge. I do not care for the Vulture. I don't even mind, like, losing some HP. I just... I just want to be set up for next turn. Hello from Christmas holidays. Hello studying. How are you doing? Should we change the command so it doesn't highlight you? That actually probably would be a great idea. It doesn't get redeemed very often, but yeah, taking out my name probably is good. I just need to decide whether I'm going to change like Chatterino or something, because there's lots of other... There's lots of other chat things you can do where you can probably, like, personalize it a lot more. Like, the OBS chat box isn't very... I don't know, customizable by itself, but maybe there's some plugins for OBS that I can <laughs> change it with. I'm not sure. Nurse Shark, not a huge fan of that. Crane, pretty big fan of that. I think that'll work very well with this. I don't know what I'm doing with this, though. Like, there's Nurse Shark and Vaquita, but we don't have any trumpets. Okay, I'm taking this. I'm probably going to leave the Manta Ray. I definitely don't want Meerkats. And let's roll. I want better things. Manatee. Uh... It's not good. <laughs> I don't like Manatee. Hmm. What am I looking for from this tier? Like, Slugs, Dart Frogs. Maybe Falcon. Macaque's probably pre pretty good. Cuttlefish is great. Sea lion, maybe, but I still don't really care about the things I have. What is that hat? It's like a flower hat. It's the old flower hat, but they really changed it when they changed it. Oh, come on. Give me something. Can't even use this. Okay, I may just go like... Wait, there's two faint things here. I'm going to sell the possum. I'm praying that it hits this instead of the weasel, but I may take both. I could probably get rid of this and not cry too much. Okay. So... This will have more HP. I don't know if I could, like, arrange things for that to get hit by the crane, though, unless I just start with this at the front, but I don't want to do that anyway, so... <laughs> we will continue rolling. I don't know, I'm just kind of looking for, like, cuttlefish now, I guess. Not insane, but I don't really like the rest of this. Slugs are maybe. Like, the vulture's not doing anything. Hmm... Free slug. I may go for a slug if I find other things that synergize with it. Really, I'm only looking for cuttlefish at this like tier, so... Unless I find poison dart frog slugs or something, then... Yeah, I think we're good as we are. Damn. Like, crush it. Manatee is better now as a 211. I can't remember what it used to be, but it still does like 5 damage to itself, right? Yeah. I don't think it's changed. I think I've only seen this manatee. We have a chance he's running cuttlefish. Cuttlefish is fine. It's a good pet. I want to do this, but I know it'll get replaced by the crane if it uh, ends up bad. Let's see. Do I sell the vulture? Because that's really not going to do anything. Yeah, like a solo slug's better unless we go against something that like hard counters it. And I want to do this, but then I'd have to move it from the front. <laughs> uh... This is annoying. Alright, let's just do this then. Any avocados for me? I don't want to have to buy... I don't like these things. Ugh, fine. Let's just try and keep us alive this time. Like, there's really nothing I'm looking for at this tier. We want tier 5s enough. We need to find something for this build, because right now we don't have anything going. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Alright. <laughs> Why 
Why does the crane not have a hat? It does. It's under the level. You can't see it. <laughs> it's great. It's just like hiding it. Onion. I could onion this. It's potential, but it's not going to be insane because it's going to be behind the slug. And if the slug somehow doesn't die in one hit, then we're replacing a 4-4. Four, four, so it's kind of... I don't think I'm looking at that at the moment. Okay, Silver Fox. That could be really cool with the crane, but I don't have a good way to scale it. Kind of same with the fire ants. Like, what do we want? Hmm. I'd love to find some blue ringed octopuses. I just don't even know. Maybe I have to go, like, some sort of sniper scum. Try and find some white whales, um, poison dart frogs. Love to get a grizzly. Or wolf. Again, I don't have a way to scale these, so I don't think silver fox is it. I think we do need to try and pivot to something else. I'd like to find... Okay, well, there's a dart frog. Uh, is it time to get rid of the cone snail? It is very big, and it does... They've, they've give this survivability to help with the crane, but I don't know if we're going to be able to use that, like, long term. Whereas at least I can do something with the slug. <laughs> Yeah, let's, just, let's try hard. Let's go for a big pivot. Uh, that's going to jump first, so I can't really use two door head ants. I know these things are going to be kind of useless at the moment. And I'm probably going to end up running my team like this. It's like we do lose the banana, but we will get like three triggers out of this and then another one here. Well, you know, another two. We can run that there. I'm going to leave these. Okay. Is Cuttlefish the worst thing here? I need to get rid of something. <laughs> I don't know where to throw the chocolate either. Ah. They're really effed up putting the hat behind the level symbol. It does seem like a bit of an oversight. Like, at least put it in the other hand or something. But, I don't know. I'm not too bothered. I don't think the crane's going to do much either. Like, we don't have anything with enough HP to survive a hit. Now, the question is whether I do this or I wait for, like, a white whale or... Try and get, get a grizzly, but I probably do just try and level this. So yeah, you can have that. We can level it immediately. And a bird of paradise. We have scaling. Okay, I may actually not go for this super hard then. Because now that we have scaling, we might be able to use this instead. And just completely pivot, considering we have like a lot of HP anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to send it like this then. Again, we lose a monkey, but... I want maximum triggers on this frog. They're, like, targeting this thing. Yes! Okay, that's good. Frog is carrying. There should be a sniper that does 70 damage to a random pet. That sounds like... Badger, Swordfish, and... There's something in this pack. Nurse Shark. They can also... They can all do, like, a lot of damage. Like, way more than you'd need normally. I'm doing this. We're keeping this thing, like, forever. <laughs> yeah. You have that. There's nothing else I care about here. I need to decide if I'm going to, like, keep this forever. And I may do, because if we're just going for, like, a stat game, then leveling the cuttlefish does mean that we'll be replacing up to three enemy equipment things, which could be very, very useful. So I think I think cuttlefish stays. We'll try and make that work. So you can have that. Come on. I want to find chocolates. I'm debating whether I go for other, like, money things on the team as well, because the team does kind of suck. Like, right now, we're just focusing on the Poison Dart Frog. Which isn't going to be insane if we're just going for a stat game. Like, a Grizzly would definitely work more. I kind of hate this. Well, we get, like, no value after this anymore. Damn, I rarely run into people that are, like, running shuffle builds. Hey, I almost wanted to run them separately. <laughs> Can I survive if I try and run them separately? <laughs> Do I have to buy this? Do I have to buy the tomato or can I roll hard for chocolate and tank some turns? I probably have to buy the tomato. I don't want to actually die, but I want to keep these separate. Uh, freeze this maybe if we can get like another... No, they're going to trigger anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, alright. Just buy that then. Grizzly, potentially very good. Eventually, this Poison Dart Frog is only going to get, like, two triggers, and that sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll rearrange it a bit more later, too. Avocado. That depends if we're going to die. 
I think I do, because that means we guarantee to get, like, two triggers on each of these, but... Yeah, we need some way to make sure that we can get two triggers a turn, at least, because otherwise it's kind of inefficient to be running them like this. Yeah, send it like that. There should be a tier 6 food that gives 1 XP to 2 random pets. I don't know how I'd use that, honestly. Also, we keep getting shuffles! Did I ruin my team, or did we get shuffled? Oh god. Yeah, we got shuffled. Ah, oh, why are there so many people running that? <laughs> it's hurting. Alright, Poison Dark Frog, you are done. I'm really hoping we don't die soon. Let's like get rid of the slug for a crane. That could be good. It's good if we can get big fast. Like, this is still like a load of guaranteed hits for you. Like, a crane would be cool, but I think I just try and pump this hard. And yeah, I'm just gonna buy the avocado, I think. Buy the avocado, roll for chocolate. <laughs> I can't use the oyster, sadly. Okay, we want this. Pit of bread on there would be pretty good as well. We can probably side with that. Uh, I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to die very soon. I'm going to trust that that won't die right at the back, because it can survive one tomato. I haven't got any tomatoes, but they do have a pretty big team, and that's probably even more scary. What's your opinion on the War of 1812? Never heard of it. Yeah, we're about to die. I'm just gonna, like, throw this on. Like, I, I need to get more scaling faster, which would be this. But we don't have any money coming in, so we're only getting, like, one trigger a turn. And, like, I don't know, like, I can't uh, get good value of money without buy-selling. It's like that um, thing I bought last turn didn't do anything. Yeah, it's, it's a mistake doing this without any, um thing on my team that makes that work better. Money. Nothing's big enough. Like, the pit of bread isn't it. I need, like, <laughs> more of these. Keep it frozen. If I find chocolate for that, I'd much rather buy that first. Nah, alright. Uh, yeah, we'll throw that on there anyway, then. Buy, sell the fish. I'm not buy selling the fish. Th this goes before anything. The cuttlefish is like the only thing that might potentially carry my fights. It definitely won't, but, you know, it's the closest thing to maybe doing it. Hey, it's only doing one damage snipes. Can we... Okay, good. We're not going to lose, at least. It is a draw, though. I'll take it. <laughs> I just can't tell. I don't feel like I can get rid of anything. I could get rid of the Bird of Paradise, and then I could just, like, use one of these. Maybe that's the smarter way, because, like, this thing isn't even that big. Yeah, I'm gonna just, just gonna do that, I think. Okay, I refuse to buy Pit of Bread. And who does this go on? It probably has to be the bear first. Like, I know this is better the earlier you do it, but I'm not convinced we won't die if I don't throw this here. At the same time, I do want to buy something to start stacking up, but I don't care about these things yet. So I may just, I may let one of these triggers hit like stuff I don't care about and then swap in something later, because, yeah, catfish, yeah, don't care. So that's going to trigger now. <laughs> There's another bird of paradise. Uh, I could sell the oyster and buy it now. I don't think that's the play either. It's probably worth getting a crane and throwing it behind the cuttlefish though, so if we survive, we'll go for that. That's a good buy sell. Uh, we could throw another pit bread on here now that's quite big. <laughs> Robot dog, that's a lot of void balls. You have no idea what's happening with this game? Do you not know much about the test server? I want to level this, but I'm worried it's going to get me killed. So let's, let's try it anyway. You know what? I'll freeze the second one. I refuse to freeze tomato. No, I don't. Let's go tomato instead. So throw that on there, and then it's going to be... <sighs> This is so much more guaranteed. Like, I know this is potentially 20 damage blocked, but the other one is, like, almost a guaranteed 15. From, like, all... all sources. And, yeah, you're not... <laughs> you're not that scary. Void was looking hungry, apparently. Looks like it might be pretty full now, though. Okay, let's get rid of this. Or stack this first. I want to see what it is. Pterodon doesn't really matter. Like, we can potentially use that with the slug for extra triggers for this. Maybe with a cuttlefish. But... 
Oh yeah, actually, may maybe that does work with the cutfish really well. Because then it's going to be triggering a second time, which means all four backline things are going to have ink on them. Hmm. There's potential there. Okay, so the next thing I buy is going to trigger that. So we're not going to get to the next stage. Because then I'd have to spend 10 gold. Unless I buy-sell something, actually, which I can do. But I'd have to buy-sell now. I can only buy two things. Hmm. I kind of want to try the Pterodon. But I don't think it's worth as much as getting good equipment on something I care about. So instead, let's just uh, do something like this. Roll. Get that's done. And I probably try and level the crane before anything. But yeah, everything's looking like a like it's in a pretty good spot. And this seems like a really tiny team. How is this person alive? <laughs> this is such a tiny team. Okay. Well I'll take it. Anything that keeps my team alive longer. But like, yeah. <laughs> Turn 15 and they have like, stats and synergies like that, I'm not convinced. Alright, let's go for, like, one roll, see if we can get this leveled up. I'm just gonna freeze that for maximum chance. Yeah, we didn't get it. Uh, I'd rather just roll three times. If there's going to be a draw, like, I could get a 1-1 one, one on something. And this is probably the last turn, but I'd rather get chocolate ready for next turn. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, if there is a draw, we have our next turn set out for us. I'd rather level the crane instead of giving it a tomato, but, you know. Alright, pretty good. Is there a new pack in the full game, not test server? Because if so, I haven't played that either. No, no, this is still all just test server stuff. They did release the Doberman ages ago, but I think that's the only sort of new, new-ish content that's come out on the main game in a while. Alright, we did it, we survived. <laughs> it's always bear scum. It's bear scum or like, you know, scaling with this. But honestly, we didn't have a good build for it. Like, you need you need money so you can get multiple triggers a turn. We were getting one trigger a turn most of the time. But there we go. Big believer payouts. Just got a thing. A pilgrim hat. Not bad. Alright. Alright, I'll start up the next one then. I may try a custom pack that I made earlier. Because there is a build that I want to go for. And I don't think I can do it in the current weekly. Maybe I need to check that out as well. But... Oh, legendary millionaires? Why not? Why is there only five lives? Oh, okay, it's been a while then. They've changed the life system like three times. Now it's five lives, you lose one for every loss, and you gain one back on turn three if you lost any before then, so... Yeah, honestly, it's kind of more simple if you get used to it. I don't want tamarins. I don't really want the egg either. This is a big roll. Uh, <laughs> Silk moth, definitely. That's definitely something to throw there. And then I think the groundhog may be better for us, honestly. Just throw that there. I could have bought an apple for this, and it would have been okay for now, but I, I want to get rid of the possum at some point. I don't like feeling locked in on something just because it's like kind of big. I hate this as well. Except we draw, it's okay. It's been a while, college work, not fun. I hope you're doing okay though. I hope you're having a bit of a break now too. Stop giving me this! I don't want the meerkat! It's so hard to use and I have nothing for it. No, we, we leave that, I don't care. Could maybe take a squid and do something with the cherry. Yeah, just do that, All right? Throw that there. Sea urchin, maybe? But I'd rather just roll three times, see if we can find some other cooler tier twos. And you know what? I'm calling those cooler tier twos. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're getting trumpets from this anyway, so... Let's try this. We can maybe go for a lizard build. I feel like it's not very good. I feel like summoning builds can be really good in this pack. But I don't think Lizard's it. I think Lizard is a kind of a bait part. Oh, I summoned two things. You're doing further maths, you couldn't be more <laughs> not okay. 
Uh, I never did further maths, so I only did regular maths. Use the meerkat, lose profit. No, I'm not touching the meerkat. Meerkat is way too just janky. I kind of want to buy this as well, but like... Uh, I feel like he's going to miss. Uh, you know what? Let's just like double sell here. Try and hit one of those two. Well, it's better than the squid at least. And you know what? I think I sell, buy again, and then buy an apple in one of these. It keeps hitting that. You know what? Okay, that's what's staying on the team then. These things can just stay how they are. <laughs> if they're going to make it that hard for me to sell the possum, then I might as well keep investing. And it did not get amazing praise for us, sadly. Hmm. If you were a math major, how did you not do further maths? You didn't have to... You didn't have to do further... I can't... Yeah, you don't have to do further maths to do maths in university. You just have to do maths or... You might not even have to do that. But, yeah. You got a true infinite game going on pack one today. What? How can you get an infinite game on pack one? Hmm. Anyway, what do we want to do with this? If I'm going for a summoning build, then flying fish is a definite... Offspree is probably the next thing I need to look for. Maybe sea turtles. I don't think I've seen any of those yet. Flying fish. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> I'll try and make that work. Lettuce is a maybe because we can definitely buff that. Oh, double meerkat. Double meerkat weasel. It won't do anything this turn. <laughs> it's, and it's not going to be good after this turn. But I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> I'm doing that. Alright. Uh, we definitely need this to die. You're only buffing one thing, but that's good enough. Want to buy this lettuce next turn, I think. This is like guaranteed stats. And that was a like, great trade for us. Meerkat is bait. It is bait. They need to at least give it like better stats itself or something, because it just sucks by itself. But having two of them when I have some money generation may be a play. The sad thing is, I still need better... Like, do I combine? I can combine, buy, sell the stoat, and then we're like two gold up, so we'll be one above what we need. Yeah, I think we do that. Another one of these? Oh, another one of those! Not bad! <laughs> Alright. Uh, take this? Yeah, yeah, take this. And then, I'm... Oh, god, what do I do? It's going to risk hitting something anyway. I think I, like, stack the flying fish, and then I just, like, end on the sea turtle. I think that's fine. So try and hit this. That's fine as well. All right. We still only have, like, one summon, and this one will not get to trigger on it, but... <laughs> it's whatever. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I wouldn't mind just going for, like, a money build or something, maybe. Like, we do have a nice setup with the you know, fairly large meerkat, or weasel, whatever this is. And we have a little up. And it's a wolf. It's, it summons for our summon build. Never mind. I think we definitely ditched the meerkat. That, is, that does not need to stay on the team anymore. I think we take this. I'd love to banana it, but that obviously does nothing. Uh, could ban banana you, though. And I see the baboon, but I don't have a way to use it because we don't have any tier 4s. Let's go. Let's go. That's cool. That's cool. I... Do I refuse to get rid of this? No, I think I get rid of that. It's, like, money efficient, and honestly, like, this is as good. Like, you get as many stats with the flying fish as you do. Uh, the other thing. Sea turtle. Okay. Are we gonna be okay? Oh my god. <laughs> the buffs! Having two flying fish is just... Hilarious. I love that each flying fish gives each thing two buffs each. Like, it's, it's perfect. Oh, dude, we can even do a macaque if we wanted to. I'd have to double sell, though, and I'm definitely not doing that. Okay, if I combine... And I think I am fine combining now, because looking at this, I'd much rather find a whale or another wolf than, like, most of the tier 6 stuff. Like, even the, like, Blue Ring Doctopus or the Oyster are, like, okay to freeze. Or Nihala, I don't know. Yeah, let's do this now then. What do you have? Yeah, <laughs> blurring Doctopus, fine. 
Now, the question is whether I can, like, sell the possum and run double flying fish, because I kind of want to try that. <laughs> I think it's too big of a risk, though. I think we just, like, buy sell this. Buy sell. Buy other fish. Buy an avocado. Roll once. And buy a second avocado. Yeah, that's fine to me. Alright, send it. Show me. And press me, hello. Welcome. Hope you're having a good holiday. That's a big monkey. Not as big as the pigs. <laughs> Alright, I think we're okay here. Yeah. I was worried the weakness was going to mess us up more than it did. Also, I do have my things in the wrong place. I was like, oh yeah, this is more protected. Also, hello. Alright, so there are three faint things here. I may freeze this and roll once to see if we can get better odds with selling the possum, but... Yeah, I don't think I try and level the weasel anymore. It's kind of cool, and I may keep it for a while longer, but I don't think I go too hard on that. And freeze a banana for the white whale, maybe? Like, I need to have food for it. I'd rather just, like, feed it chocolate or something. To start, anyway. Like, I do want it to have equipment, but I'd rather that be, like, pit bread or tomato, probably. But banana's fine if you can, like, move it further back and let it eat a slug or something. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of this then. Like, none of these are faints. So you bought this. Am I dumb? Is this not a faint pet? Does this not count as a faint pet? Like, this is a faint pet. I know it doesn't say faint on the text, but... Hmm. Okay, I need to find something to feed it, though. <laughs> it's not going to be this or the Osprey. Both of those are okay, but... Yeah, I'd much rather slug. There he is. Okay, so we get to roll once more. Oh, there's even other things here. Eat the slug. And that's great, because that means I can just, like, throw this in the second position, and it, it'll still work with these fine. It's an eat foods, yeah. Yeah, but there, there's, like, loads of things that work that way, right? Well, not, not specifically that way, but, like, I feel like there are other pets that have multiple abilities that, um, you know, work how you'd expect them to. Possum didn't even work on the before faint pets, really? Oh, no. And my opinion on crime is that it is bad. That is my official statement. Alright, do I combine my flying fish just so I can, like, buy, sell an oyster for a turn? <laughs> I probably could. Like, these things aren't doing that much. Like, having one more of these, it's like, it is a lot of summons. Yeah, that's nice, a lot of summons. I'm gonna leave the avocado. Let's try and find some other things here. Another slug. Potentially worth freezing, because I could maybe feed that chocolate or something. Oh, dude. Yeah, wildebeest. Do not care. I'm gonna keep the slug frozen. Like, I, I want to be able to level this up. And that is a way to do it. Dude, this is a good team. We even have some, like, money stuff going on. <laughs> I like starting with an extra, like, 20% gold. There's a tanky monkey. Yep, I need, to, <laughs> I need to level one of these one more time, and then we can have, like, level three everything we summon. <laughs> Wait, no, why have you joined the dark side? It's so fun. I had to. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it on here. We can do it safely, so I... And it's definitely staying on the team, like, forever. I may change what it's eating. Maybe at some point we give it to Wolf instead. Sadly, I don't think I buy that. Lettuce does buff these two. But I'd rather keep going. Can't, I can't do this. I think I keep these separate. I think I want to have two flying fish on the team. <laughs> I think I try and level one of these separately. Let's say I do it to the wolf. Hmm. Wait, do you see summons? You do. Even worse, just flying fish summons. Surely this is better than like grizzly bear or PDF. I feel like this is better. Or, oh, you know, more interesting. Is this the OG turkey tiger rooster of the test server? Not really. Or maybe it is. I don't know. This is like my first time trying multiple flying fish. Or flying fish, you know, consistently. I know grizzly bear used to be amazing. Uh, PDF as well. Poison that frog. And Baco. Thank you for the tier 2 sub in 11 months. Dude, we're closing in on a year. It is so close. Help, all you see here are white. What does that mean? Is the Grizzly Bear still overpowered? I don't think so. Like, it now needs five triggers to hit. 
its attacks are still very heavy, but it, you know, it takes a lot more. It's not like brokenly overpowered, I feel. Uh, I could like throw one of these there and it's one more thing for the other one, but I'd rather three rolls. Let's see if we can get like a level up or something. That is potential. That is probably not being kept for the whole game, so I think I leave that behind. But yeah, I'm debating whether I keep the wolf as it is or if I try and find a white whale to feed to the wolf, because then we can just like level up the wolf just by, you know, having the white whale level one die, which might be a lot easier for us. Please don't ever go flying fish after this. Why? It's so good. Uh, we better go like snipers only after this and destroy it. What, you mean with like <laughs> grizzly bear and PDF? Sure. I'd love to. Uh, what do I do with you? What do I do with these? Maybe I just get rid of the weasel and like throw in <laughs> separate wolf. I can't throw that there, though. The, the problem is, like, if this was a slug, I wouldn't mind just, like, feeding that the tomato and leaving this at the front. Because having a tomato is pretty good, and it does counter certain builds. I mean, like, crocs, leopards, grizzly. Oh, well, they're not all in the same pack. We should have a pack three monkey manatee only game. I actually wouldn't be against that. And do you see, keep, keep saying PDF? I do, because it's poison dart frog. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this team anymore. I refuse to do this. I want to keep these separate. I'm going to run these separately for as long as I can. I'm debating whether I get rid of this. And honestly, I may just do it now. Like, it's not that big. And we can just, like, summon other things and make it bigger. Running that separately isn't great. But, yeah, I want other things on the team. I'm rolling it. Come on, give me something we can use. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just stack this in here, then. Throw that there. <laughs> oh, maybe I do, then. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do? Do I combine the flying fish, buy grizzly, give it chocolate? What is the play? Is that or I just like, you know, sell the octopus, buy grizzly, and then... Level the wolf, buy the bear? The issue is then we like lose some value, because then the white whale's gonna be like at the front, we won't get banana stuff, and then this is gonna be one more forward, so they won't get, um... It's own thing. Like, I'd have to... I can't have three backline pets because it butchers everything else. So, like, if I'm taking this, then these need to go or get combined. I think I just combine them, honestly. And... Do I sell this first so I can see the other Tissics? If it's another Grizzly, then I think that works out. It's unlikely, but I don't mind running, like, a four squad if I have to. Um, cow, no. Alright. This here... So I'm hoping this is still good enough. We don't have a lot, but this is still something. Frontline flying fish. <laughs> no. No, they hit my grizzly. Now he's like weak. He's doing half damage. I guess I'm still buffing up large pigs. You'd personally... Wait, you would prefer word just because Adobe... Well, I don't know. I don't understand. Right. So this is something that I could do. It would still get two summons, which right now is getting three, but if I fill up something else on the board, then it won't. I just want to find another one. I want one more white whale, just so I can feed it the wolf, and then it will immediately have level three white pigs with one flying fish. I want to keep this frozen. I need another... Oh, no, because I take a slug as well. Yeah, we need to roll. We need to roll hard and try and find more. Things. <laughs> we can end on that. That's a maybe. Uh, yes. Yes. Very happy to see that. Bird of Paradise. Do not care. We'll just throw that to the front for this turn. We have found another white whale. Excellent. Okay. So, I think this is the one that's going to be right at the front. So, this is probably what I sell the slug for. But I do need to find another slug or something. But this is a good start. <laughs> we only have, like, one more turn. But this is still a good start. And I'm sending it like that because I do think the bear is more important and I can't afford for this to die in one hit to random tomato. There was no tomato, but they have protection as well, so I'm a bit scared. Also, did I butcher my order? What happened? I don't know if I messed something up there. And I hit shark bird of paradise is OP now. I mean, I feel like bird of paradise with money builds is just very strong. It doesn't have to be a 
Hammerhead, but yeah, there's a lot of things that work very well there. Uh, yeah, who do I get rid of? I need to buy this this turn, and like having the slug at the front lets me keep these things here. So you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the wolf, and then I have like five rolls to try and find another slug or another wolf. I'm hoping we can get the. Uh, no. I continue. I could just like buy the chocolate here, let it eat a random thing, and then whatever. I'm trusting that we can find something to feed it. And I guess it's not that many rolls. Oh god, I can't even freeze it. Not well. I will, but... Okay. This is very strange, but I'm going to do that. And if we end up on like a losing streak after this, what I may end up doing is selling this slug so we have triple white whale and trying to find a... Uh, a wolf for this and another slug for the other one. But, yeah, this is all <laughs> very strange. It works so well they put a cap at 30 gold. Wasn't it already there? I mean, to be fair, I haven't reached the 30 gold cap in a long time. So I didn't know. Like, I know it used to be 20. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead here. It used to be 20, and then the test server changed it. I'm not sure what it's still on the other main game. Right. Let's go hard. Like, we have... We're one win away from winning... And we have two lives we can lose. I can sell the slug right now, buy this white whale, and go hard to try and find stuff to feed these things. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We just need to find wolves and slugs. And these are both fine. Wolves and slugs. Slug, we found one. Alright, uh, you can be my slug lad. So you take that. Other one is still empty, but that's fine. It's going to be way too hard to get this leveled up. It would be a good improvement, but... Honestly, I need to give it equipment before I bother leveling it up, and we haven't even done that, so... Yeah. You know, I don't even bother with this. We should have, like, equipment on that instead of trying to level it again. It'd be too difficult, so... Yeah, we can send that how it is, then. We're getting somewhere with this. If you put tomato on something, does it count as a sniper? Probably not. And also, I hate that they shuffled my bear back into the back, which then let it get one shot by the tomato. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna kill us. Okay, so we will be fighting for that final thing then. I need to find the wolf. I need wolf and I need protective sniper stuff. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to feed this like a random thing this turn, probably. Uh, emu. <laughs> sure. I have an emu. It's one more summon. There you go. See if that does anything. Maybe it'll save us. And I can now move this back to the back and feel like not too bad about it, because now it will survive at least two tomato hits. And there are no tomatoes here, but it is a very big team. We might be okay against it if I had something in this whale. Like a, you know, something with a lot of summons. As things stand, we are still okay. Never mind. Yeah, we... <laughs> I think. I think we're going to win. Yeah, we do win. Oh, I was so close to a draw as well. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. Classic scum. Bear, level 3, whatever his name is. An empty white whale. This team is so scum. It is quite scummy, yeah. I can't be bothered to meme anymore. I don't know how to meme on the golden pack, and I can't be bothered. It's too hard not to. Like, every team you go against is also kind of scum.